Hello everyone, what's up? In the previous video, we saw, we saw the video explanation of the fourth problem from Lead Course Weekly Contest 203 that was Stone Game 5. In this video, let's see the problem Find Latest Group of Size M. What it says is we have an array and that represents a permutation from 1 to n. All of the elements like we have unique numbers on that array from 1 to n and we have a binary string of size n as well and initially it is initialized to 0 all the bits of that string is 0 and at each step we are going through our array and if its value is i then we are moving to ith index of our string and also it is 1 indexed and setting that bit from 0 to 1 so at the end we are sure that we we will set the binary string from all bits being 0 to all bits being 1 and uh, during our process, process at each step if at any time we are having m consecutive ones in our binary string then we need to find out the latest step at which this condition is satisfied group of ones is a contiguous substring of ones that cannot be extended and we should make sure that the consecutive one one should be of length exactly n if we are not able to find any such group during our traversal like during all the steps we should return minus one so let's see what i did so for this problem uh, we have been given an array and I we have a string I'm calling it a, I'm calling it bits where all, initially all of its bits are 0 and at the end it would be 1 we need to find out this set of m consecutive ones and return the latest step So yes, suppose this is the bits array. I am I am stored these bits in an integer value. Its value would be zero or one. And I have maintained two another data structures that are left, and one is right for each of the indexes. Left i, right i. It signifies the number of consecutive ones. Uh, consecutive ones when the rightmost one ends at index i like for this suppose i have left i then uh, i will this left i will represent the number of consecutive ones where the rightmost one is at index i so if i have this one zero then the left i for this index would be one but we have one one zero then the left i for this index would be two as we have two consecutive ones for the three this left i would be three if we, I have 0 here, then left eye will become 0 because the rightmost bit is 0. Similarly, the right eye it signifies number of consecutive ones where the leftmost one starts from ith index. So for right eye, this it will be 0 for this index. For this index, for right eye would be 1, 2, 3 as we have 3 consecutive ones where it starts from ith index. 3 right i would be 2 here would be 1 here and again for this index right i would be 0 as left the like we have a block the consecutive ones the first one should start from ith index or yeah so these are the two values which i am maintaining yep Now whenever I am setting a value from 0 to 1, there can be many cases. Let's see what are those cases. Suppose this bit, which I want to set this middle bit. So initially it sh should have been 0 if I want to set it. So the cases can be if I have 0, 0 on its either of its sides, if I have 0, 1 here and if I have 
one zero here and the last case would be if I have one one zero these are the four cases I can have if I am setting this the middle middle bit in this case if I am setting it I am considering the right of I am considering the right right value of this part and the left value of this part okay so in this case in the first case if I am setting it then number of uh, the number of ones in the contain contiguous number of ones which includes this bit would be uh, would be the left of suppose this is the index i left of i minus 1 plus 1 plus right of i plus 1 I hope you understood this one this one uh, is for this bit which I am setting it to 1 in this case left i1 represents the number of consecutive ones at this part and right i plus 1 represents the number of consecutive parts this one where one should be starting from this place and the left part one should end at this place so for this case the number of ones the consecutive ones would be one and then I am setting the new right and left for this index it would be one right of left would be one in this case uh, left i minus one is equal to zero here let's say its value is x because we can have more number of ones here as well so number of consecutive ones if we are including this uh, block right here would be 1 plus r i plus 1 we need to consider these ones as well and I'm setting the value of left of this left would be 1 plus this value and now there is one thing now I should be able now I must update the value of right where this one the block consecutive ones ends what I would be doing suppose the block the right block which I am considering after this bit suppose it ends somewhere here now I need to add add some value to this part because its left now will increase its left will now increase by uh, left of idx suppose this is at index idx plus 1 1 is this and plus right of i minus 1 because if there had been one consecutive ones at this place as well we should be adding these to the left of this as well because now they are forming a contiguous block of ones oh, wait 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 uh, yep Now let's see for this case. Now the number of consecutive ones. If we am setting this bit as uh, one and it it is index i, it would be left of i minus one plus one plus right of i plus one. So I'm considering these set of consecutive ones, these ones as well, and one signifies this value now I need to update the right of where this consecutive blocks ends because now it, the number of consecutive ones that to the right of this one will increase what I would be doing is uh, right of i minus left of like I need to go to the place where these consecutive ones is starting because now there are more ones to this set I should add all these ones to the right of this value similarly 
suppose let's consider this right part and 1 1 1 1 it ends here now I should add something to this left value of this index because now I have more zeros like these ones so these ones should be added to the left of this index so I am doing it in my code let's see the code now area I have before moving to the code uh, let's uh, let's first tell me how I am finding out the answer so if at, at any point what I am doing is uh, I am finding the number of consecutive ones by left of i minus 1 plus plus right of i plus 1 if this value is equal to m then I am and I'm also maintaining a count which tells me number of uh, consecutive blocks of ones having uh, where ones are, is equal to m so this this count I'm using count variable so please do keep in mind the value what count signifies so if this is equal to m I'm increasing the value of count by one because now there is a new block whose where we have contiguous number of ones m number of contiguous ones and also i need to i need to decrement count if the l minus one if this had been count now it is not a uh, contiguous set of blocks where I am having m number of ones because now this one has been added also if there had been ones in this these ones are also has been added to this now I am decrementing count if this value is equal to m similarly to the right case if this right of i plus 1 had been m but now it is not the case that I am having m consecutive ones in this case because I am adding this one to this consecutive block then in that case also I am decrementing count so in two cases I am decrementing count and in one case I am incrementing count if l i minus 1 plus 1 plus r i plus 1 is equal to m okay and if at any point I see count is greater than 0 it means I am having a contiguous block where I am uh, where we have set of m consecutive ones so the latest round is it, the current round is still the latest round so I am maintaining my value in some answer if count is greater than 0 it means I am having such con such case in this round as well now let's see the code it's uh, exactly what I have said I maintain this left right and bits bits is the string of binary string I am maintaining but I am using an integer vector now this is the index where I need to set my bit and also keep in mind that it is one index now l stores the right of i minus 1 r stores the left of i minus 1 as i have just explained here and if l equals to m i am decrementing count and if r equals to m decrement count i have explained these two cases also for the increment part if the new consecutive block and the block of new block of consecutive ones in in that block i am having ones equal to m I need to increment count and now I am updating the values of left and right accordingly as I have explained and at the end I am saying I am seeing if count is greater than 0 I am just uh, storing or maintaining my latest round value in answer it is idx plus 1 as it is 1 index at the end I am returning the answer so yeah uh, if you have watched till point thank you so much if you like our videos and learning something from us then please like and subscribe see you in the next video where i will be explaining the second problem from this contest so take care sayonara